Hi everyone and welcome to Himas Academy. Today I'll show you how to make a Star Wars game. This is how our game will look like after we're done. When I click left, I move left. When I click right, I move right. When I click up, I move up. And when I click down, I move down. When I get all the characters by touching them, I get 50,000 points and two of each character again. If I get all the characters again, I'll get 50,000 more points and then two of each character again. Now I'll show you how to code this. First, I'll open code.org and then I'll sign in. I have already signed in. First, I'll go to the projects tab. I'll click view full list and click Star Wars. This is how it looks when I open it. First, I'll set the background to indoor. Then I'll set the map to circle. I'll set my droid to R2D2 and my droid speed to fast. I already have a few functions which control the movement, which are when up, when down, when left, and when right. So when I click up, I move up. When I click left, I move left. When I click right, I move right. And when I click down, I move down. Now I'll add my characters. First, I'll go into the commands tab and get the add character block. Since I need six characters for this, I'll get six add character blocks. Now I'll enter the names. For the first, I'll keep Stormtrooper. For the second, I'll keep Rebel Pilot. For the third, I'll keep Puffer Pig. For the fourth, I'll keep Minoc. For the fifth, I'll keep Mouse Droid. And for the sixth, I'll keep Tauntaun. Now I'll show you how this looks like. This is my droid and I can move up, down, left and right. When I get all my characters, nothing is happening because I didn't code it. I'll go to the events tab and get the when get all character block. So when I get all my characters, it will activate the function inside it. I want it to add 50,000 points. So I'll go to commands and get the add points block. And I'll enter 50,000. Next, I'll get the add character blocks. I need six of each character. So I'll get the 12 character blocks. Now I'll enter the names. For the first two, I want Stormtrooper since I want two of them. For the next two, I'll enter Rebel Pilots. For the third two, I'll enter Puffer Pigs. For the third two, I'll enter Minox. For the fourth two, I'll enter Mouse Droid. And for the sixth two, I'll enter Tauntaun.
now I'll show you how this looks like. So I'll set my background to enter, the map to circle, my droid to R2D2, my droid speed fast, and I'll add my characters at first. And then when I get all of my characters, I add 50,000 points and get two of each character. So when I get all of my characters, I get two more of each character and 50,000 points. This will work every time you get all the characters. Now I'll change the background to hot which is a snowy background. I'll set my droid to C3PO, which is a human-like robot. I'll set my speed to fast and play a random sound whenever it starts. This is how it will look like. My background is hot and my map is circle. My robot is C3PO and all works the same for this robot too. Next, I'll set the background to starship. This is how it will look like. When I get all the characters, I get 50,000 points again. Now I'll set the map to blank so there will be no obstacle. This is how it will look like. Next I'll set the map to horizontal. Horizontal map will look like this. I'll set the map to grid. The grid map has multiple obstacles, which layout is in a grid. Next, I'll set the map to blobs. This is how blobs looks like. It's a random map with random obstacles all around. Now I want to make this harder. So I'll go into the events tab and get the when touch obstacle function. So whenever I touch an obstacle, I want it to do something. I'll go to command and get the remove 100 point block. So whenever I touch an obstacle, I'll remove 100 points. I'll set my map to circle. This is how it will look like. So whenever I touch an obstacle, I get a hundred minus points. And whenever I get all the characters without touching any obstacle, I get 50,000 points. And whenever I touch an obstacle again, it attracts 100 points each time. I want the characters to move faster. So I'll go into the commands tab and get the move fast block six times. The move fast block will make each character entered move faster. So suppose if I enter puffer pig, it will make all my puffer pigs move faster.
For the first, I'll enter Stormtrooper. For the second, I'll enter Rebel Pirate. For the third, I'll enter Buffer Pig. For the fourth, I'll enter Mino. For the fifth, I'll enter Mouse Droid. And for the sixth, I'll enter Tauntaun. This is how it will look like. My characters are moving much faster this time because I have entered their names in the move fast block. Next, I'll set the droid to R2D2 again. You can change your speed of characters according to the blocks. I also want to give additional points for each character we get. So I'll go into the events tab. When I go into the events tab, I'll get the when get character block. The when get character block will activate something whenever I get any character. So whenever I get a character, I want it to enter 1000 points for me. So each character will give me 1000 points plus the 50,000 points for each character. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please do watch them.